The first of Turkey's Istanbul-class frigates recently completed a missile test firing from the Midlis vertical launch system just two months into its sea trials. As Turkey's very first domestically produced frigate, the Istanbul class stands as a testament to the nation's growing self-reliance in shipbuilding and military production in general. So, in today's video, let's explore the Istanbul class frigates, examining their design, capabilities, and significance. The Istanbul-class frigates are a series of eight versatile warships currently under construction for the Turkish naval forces. Originating from the Turkish Milgem project initiated in 2004, aimed at bolstering the nation's warship arsenal and naval construction capabilities, the Istanbul-class stems from a broader strategy to develop a cohesive family of warships across three classes characterized by a significant level of common design elements. These frigates are essentially an evolved iteration of the Ada-class anti-submarine corvettes, boasting extended endurance and incorporating a vertical launching system to augment their multi-role capabilities. On January 19, 2024, the first in-class frigate known as TCG Istanbul, with pennant number F515, entered into service with the country's navy during a ceremony held at a shipyard in northwest Turkey six years after it was laid down. TCG Istanbul was constructed at the Istanbul Naval Shipyard by the Turkish defense company STM under the supervision of the country's defense industry agency. The construction began after a contract signing in April 2019 and was officially finalized in January 2021. Designed to execute a diverse array of tasks for the Turkish Navy, ranging from surveillance to anti-surface, anti-air, and anti-submarine warfare, the Istanbul-class frigate showcases a notable reliance on domestically produced components, especially within its armament and electronic warfare and sensor suites. Approximately 220 Turkish companies contributed to the construction process, achieving an impressive 80% localization rate, as reported by the manufacturer. In terms of size, TCG Istanbul has a displacement of 3,100 tons with a length of 113 meters, a beam of 14 meters, and a draft of a little over 4 meters. This means that it is notably larger than the Ada-class frigates, matching the dimensions of the four multipurpose German-built Barbaros-class frigates. Regarding propulsion, TCG Istanbul features two diesel engines manufactured by MTU Friedrichshafen, a General Electric LM 2500 gas turbine, and two shafts with controllable pitch propellers, granting it a maximum speed of approximately 30 knots and an endurance range of 6,570 nautical miles at a cruising speed of 14 knots. Highlighted as a distinctive feature of the frigate, TCG Istanbul's significant incorporation of domestically designed weapons and sensor systems underscores its technological prowess, positioning it among the world's most advanced frigates, according to the manufacturer. It is important to note, however, that the Istanbul-class frigates were initially planned to feature a 16-cell Mark 41 VLS positioned behind the 76mm Super Rapid main gun at the bow housing a total of 64 missiles, in addition to other American weapon systems. However, due to the sanctions imposed by the U.S. government in December 2020 as a result of Turkey's purchase of S-400 missiles from Russia, the original weaponry configuration for the frigates had to be altered. Now, the frigates feature ATMACA anti-ship, missile and midless vertical launch system developed by Rocketsan, as well as a 35mm close-in weapon system developed by Asselson, replacing the originally planned American weapon systems. The armament package also includes additional domestically produced weapon systems such as Asselson's 25mm remote-controlled stabilized naval gun system and the Advent Combat Management System developed by Havelsan under the guidance of Naval Forces Command. 
seven more frigates from the Istanbul class are slated for delivery to the Turkish Navy. Currently, the second, third, and fourth vessels, named TCG Izmir, Isel, and Izmit, are undergoing construction at the Anadolu shipyard in Istanbul. Additionally, construction for the fifth, sixth, and seventh vessels was approved with the launch of TCG Istanbul earlier this year. What do you think the future holds for Turkey's naval capabilities with the introduction of the Istanbul class frigates? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content.